introduce yourself and tell us a little about your experience of um, Orange Air Corps. Okay, hi. My name is Matlatsi Musi, a so-called emerging farmer in South Africa with 40 years farming experience, uh, specializing in grains such as maize and sunflower. Uh, I've changed from growing conventional uh, uh, maize. Today I'm growing the biotechnology enhanced to such as uh, uh, BT maize, and also the stack gene maize, the one that is tolerant to herbicides and pest resistance. Since 2005, because of my rich experience growing grains, the Department of Agriculture in South Africa, together with uh, the scientists in biotechnology, namely Africa Bio, uh, saw it fit for them to identify my farm as a demonstration plot whereby I'll grow a certain variety, BT maize, one hectare, one hectare conventional or one hectare uh, Roundup Ready or Steak Gin and one hectare conventional. And then I'll invite the local farmers to come and see and have a hands-on experience dealing with the genetically modified uh, grains. How I got involved with them was when I was wanting to buy the best seed and I was introduced to the GM technology and I asked a question, the, uh, the, the issue of safety repeatedly in so much that they took me to the laboratories and showed me how they do do it and they even told me a lot about the safety issue. What is your main message you want to deliver to European Union today? Because I've also hosted the government officials, media and farmers from countries such as Kenya, Malawi, Tanzania, Uganda and Mozambique. Uh, my message to the EU countries is that their slow approach to the GM technology has impacted very negatively to my continent, Africa. The Africans would very much love to grow the GM technology, but they doubt as to why Europe uh, is even decreasing the number of uh, uh, countries that uh, have commercialized the technology, and they think that Europe's no, Europe knows of a danger in growing them or even consuming. Yes, I've gone to many houses, representatives of many countries here in Strasbourg. I delivered that message, and all I, I wanted from them, and I still do, is for, for Europe to be aware of this negative impact and help me tell Africa if ever they know of a danger, so that Africa can move forward with the GM technology that they would very much want to like to adopt. Do you think it's kind of new colonialism today? Because European Union say we don't do OGM, so you shouldn't do OGM. GMO, sorry. Yeah. You don't do GMO, so they, they, do they, they, Europe has not said that we shouldn't do it. And it's the, uh, Europe's constitutional right also not to do it. I was saying, as it being their constitutional right not to go the technology. In Africa, we are having this problem of the farmers and the, the, the government that won't adopt. But I do not know how Europe can help us, help ourselves as a continent, because the, 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 the problem lies within this doubt that if Europe is not taking the technology, maybe if we do, some countries are receiving food aid from the rich countries that includes uh, European countries. Africa is doubtful if they go, they take the technology, if Europe will continue subsidizing them whenever they are having 
uh, uh, food uh, 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 shortage. Do you think that European Union um, make pressure on all the African countries today, in all the African continent today? Of the five southern countries I've hosted, namely Kenya, Malawi, Tanzania, Uganda, and Mozambique, they have not commercialized the technology simply because they look into Europe and say maybe Europe has got evidence that there is a danger in the technology. But all the parliamentarians and, and the, the, that I met in, 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 in Brussels do not have that evidence. So I, I don't know how they can help me be transparent and say, as the EU, indeed, we have not witnessed any danger so that they can continue growing their technologies and Africa can adapt to the ones they want. And I think Europe will be left behind. It's okay. But all I need is for them to help me tell the world.